So, the first thing that you want to do, I mean, I guess it's not even considered a step because you just need to know this. You're going to want to know how to, like, get into the air, like, do a jump for the tail whip. So, just, it's just simple. You pull up with your hands and your feet. So the first step is your feet positioning. Make sure that your feet are kind of sideways, like this. Next step is you're going to want to know how to actually flick the deck to do the tail whip. So you're going to want to use your toes, kind of, with both feet to spin the whole entire deck. Next step is you're going to want to know what to do with your wrists. So you're going to want to try to make it so when just by moving your wrists you spin the deck so you're going to want to make your wrist kind of go in a sideways circular motion just so you know so you can get the deck around quicker and yeah these two steps down the flipping with your toes and the wrists you're going to be able to get a tail up down a lot quicker if you practice that another thing that you're going to want to practice is like a tail whip but a little bit easier. So you're going to want to, your feet positioning the same thing, and you're going to put your front foot down, and then flick with your back foot, and then get on. And then after that, you put both feet on, and you jump, and then you jump back on. So it's going to look like this. So after you get that down, you're going to want to practice off a ramp maybe like about two, like two feet high um, just to get your elevation so you have more time to do the tail whip and then you're gonna want to shorten it lower and lower until you get it flat one more thing I forgot also you could use tail whips in different kinds of combos so instead of just a simple tail whip you could learn double tail whips then you could learn tail whip bar spin and it just goes on. There's so much things that you can do with the tail. Here's some clips.